back to my channel my name is Angela from the style and lifestyle blog style synopsis in today's video I'm going to share a few tips and pointers that you guys can apply if you want to achieve a flawless makeup look so without further ado let's get right into this video so recently I had someone reach out to me and ask me how I achieve my makeup looks. She basically said that my looks always look very flawless and my makeup just looks so natural. And so she wanted to know what I do. So I thought that I would create a video so I can talk about different things that you should take into consideration if you want to receive a very flawless, natural looking makeup look. Now, the first thing that's very important when you are applying makeup is the primer that you use. Some people like to skip that step and get right into applying their foundation and whatnot. It's really important that you apply a primer underneath your makeup. And what a primer does is that it sets your foundation and helps set your entire makeup look and helps it stay on the whole day without your makeup smudging, without your makeup looking a little wonky. It helps you achieve that natural looking glow. So another reason that you should wear a primer is that if you have oily skin, it helps depending on the primer they use of course they help hold oils in i have very oily skin and the primer that i use really helps balance my skin throughout the day and i also think it's a combination between the primer that i use and the face a uh, face moisturizer that i use as well the primer that i use is the milk hydro grip primer i started using this primer a couple weeks a couple months back and it's amazing it helps set my makeup my makeup just looks flawless after i'm done applying everything other thing you need to take into consideration when applying makeup to achieve a flawless look is the foundation that you use now there's so many foundations out there drugstore foundations high-end foundations and everything in between and everyone's skin is always going to get a different reaction from the product or foundation that they use now i like to tell people that if you have very sensitive skin and irritable skin you want to stay away from drugstore products drugstore foundations because they really do agitate your skin I know of a girl that I went to college with that was a big fan of drugstore makeup and there's nothing wrong with getting drugstore makeup however you just have to be very careful especially if you have sensitive skin now this girl went and she got a concealer from Sivius and I don't remember the specific brand but she came to class the next day looking like she just got beat up i mean she looked like she was jumped by some people she had a black eye literally her entire under her eye was black like she got boxed up i don't know she just looked so bad she was in bad shape and i, I asked her what happened and she said that it was a concealer that she got from cvs lo and behold i don't know what brand it was but to my point just be careful when you're purchasing um drugstore products now the foundation that I use is the Clinique stay matte oil free foundation and this foundation is really really amazing I mean every time I use it my skin just it just gives me that natural finish and I always like foundations that give me a natural finish I also like foundations that have a matte finish because I have oily skin so any foundation that's going to help with that I'm always purchasing and I have tried different foundations from different brands while using the Clinique foundation and I can always tell a difference with my foundations by the finish, you know, by how your makeup looks. And I always go back to using this foundation because it just gives me that natural look that I always want. Also one thing to keep in mind is that when you're purchasing a foundation, you want to be familiar with your undertones. Now if you're a person that has yellow undertones for example, like I do, I have yellow undertones, buying a foundation that has red undertones is kind of counterintuitive because then my skin is just going to look very red. The red undertones that I do not have won't be able to balance that foundation out. But because I have yellow undertones and I'm very well aware of that. I always buy foundations that have yellow undertones because when I apply that foundation, the undertones just ba it just balances out well. So just keep that in mind. If you want to know what kind of undertones you have, I know Sephora has this tool. They put it next to your skin and the, the tool can detect what your undertones are and it tells them on the screen of the tool what foundations that they have in the store would be applicable to your skin type. So if you go into Sephora and have them match your skin, they'll be able to tell you what your undertones are. 
and so moving forward each time you need to buy foundation you know what your undertones are so you don't need to always have a rep from sephora or any beauty store have to match you all the time you know especially if you're using a foundation or brand that you've used in the past you would know what your shade would be in their collections now that is that foundations are very important I try to stay to a foundation that works. I don't like to move around so much because if it's not broke, why try to fix now, it? The concealer is that you use to highlight are very important. Now, again, like what I say for the foundations, you have to make sure that you're using a product that has good quality. Now, I know that there's some drugstore concealers that are good, okay? For example, the uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer, this is in the shade phone. I use this concealer a lot to highlight. Now I go back and forth between this one and the MAC 24 Hour Studio Fix Concealer. And this one is in the shade NC45. And then I also use the Muffy C425 Concealer as well. So I go back and forth between these three. I mostly use the LA Girl Pro Concealer because I don't know it's just so easy to apply and it just blends into my skin so well it blends in well with my foundation as well so I always just use that for the most part but all three products do a good job they give me the same exact finish so so I have no problems with those three it's really important to know that when you're highlighting you have to use a concealer that's two shades lighter than your foundation and when you're contouring you need to use a concealer that is two shades darker than your foundation or a shade darker one of the two now the concealer that I use to contour is the I lost my train of thought the Fenty Beauty matte stick and this is in the uh, shade espresso now this contour stick I believe this concealer is two shades darker than my foundation which is amazing like I said you need a, con a concealer that's two shades darker the new foundation to contour so always remember highlighting a concealer two shades lighter contouring a concealer two shades darker than your foundation now it's also important to make sure that you're using the right shade for contouring because when you contour it helps define your face bring more light towards the places on your face that the light hits and then when you contour those are the dark places that create depth in your face so when you're contouring you want to make sure that you're using the right shade of your contour so that you get that desired look when you contour also when you're contouring you do not want to put too much product i always say less is more when you're contouring because once you finish contouring your face you're going to go in and set your contour with a bronzer and a bronzer is usually darker like right around the same shade as your concealer that you use to contour so you never want to put too much concealer and then go in and put too much bronzer because then you're just gonna look like what the hell Lastly, when you're done applying your makeup, you want to set it with a setting spray. The one that I use is the MAC Prep and Prime setting spray. I always use the spray setting spray. You guys can go ahead and purchase this setting spray. It is amazing. It's, I believe, $35, but you're going to have it for a while and it is going to set your foundation in place. One thing that I notice in the winter time after I'm done applying my makeup, my foundation, concealer, all that jazz, my face feels very dry in the winter and I believe a lot of people feel that way because the air is cold and after I'm done applying my foundation regardless of the fact that I have oily skin my face just feels so dry and so when I'm done with the finished look it feels very cakey so when I apply my setting spray it just kind of balances everything out and my skin just gets that natural glow it also happens in the summertime every time I set my foundation my, my entire makeup look with a setting spray I just get that natural glow. Let's keep those four things in mind. You want to make sure that you use a primer on your face before you apply your foundation. You want to make sure you're using the right foundation that matches your undertones, either if you're red, yellow, green, you name it. You want to make sure that the foundation that you're using is going to match your skin and your undertones. You want to make sure that you're using the right concealer shade for highlighting and contouring. And you also want to always, always, always set your makeup with a setting spray when you're done applying everything so four things that will help you achieve a flawless makeup look all your makeup looks will always look flawless if you apply these four different tips that i shared with you um, i hope this video was really helpful for you guys do not forget to drop some comments down below give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye